You could smell it. You could smell it. Mm. It's classy. No juice. No sweetness. Good vibes <laughs> only. I'm telling you, it's classy. Anyway, welcome. This segment brought to you by Blueberry Lemonade Sparkling Polar <laughs> with essence of fresh lemons. The thing Seltzer is, Aid. I can't disagree. It's, it, you could smell the aroma. <laughs> it has a bouquet. Who <laughs> needs alcohol? <laughs> I'm drinking a flowery <laughs> aroma. does a seltzer want to have a bouquet? Aromatic seltzer. How does a fucking seltzer want to have a bouquet? <laughs> I'm not making it up that you can smell it. It's it's legit. I mean, look, I couldn't be classier. <laughs> At this moment, I couldn't be it's classier. Like, smell that bouquet. <laughs> Ooh, the bouquet in the air is refreshing. <laughs> it sounds like a bad commercial. I think, <laughs> I think this is this is what I'm going to have to do. Oh, God. To replace alcohol, alcohol isn't like a big thing for me. I don't drink it that much. Dude. But there are certain times where it just fits the situation. You should film that commercial. <laughs> But I think I'm going to have to start replacing alcohol with oh, seltzers. Oh, bully. I think I, I'm getting old. He's taken my last, what do you call it? I think I'm getting old. Oh, I bought these. No, I'm saying, what was it called? Uh, sparkling Polar, Blueberry Lemonade. Oh, bully, he's taking my last spark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you even, what is it? Here's what it is. You totally forgot it. <laughs> Forgot the whole thing. <laughs> What's the name of that thing? Oh uh, well, it's a sparkling polar blueberry lemonade. <laughs> See, well, that? give me that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you didn't get one word right. Not one fucking syllable. <laughs> Not one syllable. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Welcome. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, man, that was good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, oh God. Oh, welcome. What's this salty funny. discharge? <laughs> That's funny as shit. Oh my god. Salty oh. discharge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god. Okay, um. Oh man. Big, I gotta tell you something. The best addition to this set ever is Big Pipey. <laughs> <laughs> Big Pipey for MVP. Every year, Big Pipey for MVP. I mean, he is a steward of life. A steward of. He just. Big, hands out life. <laughs> Big, Big Pipey delivers. <laughs> Not UPS, the, FedEx. Fe, any way you like it. Big Pipey delivers. <laughs> Just and if you want his government name, it's David Ortiz. That's right. Okay? The FBI calls him Big Pipey. That's right. That's what <laughs> the FBI calls him. That's what the underground he's, calls him. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like uh, uh, what's his name there? Fucking. Sosa? No. Capone? Capone. You know he's dirty, but you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Capone. Totally. So anyway, we've got 8.58 to go in the third. Florida, 2-1. to one. A real Donnybrook here in Madison Square Garden. Um, you know, the thing about hockey is, like, literally shift to shift momentum can change. It can change on a hit. It can change on a, anything. Just a, a turnover. Any one play can just change. Literally shift the whole fucking momentum of the game. Um, so... Right now, in Game 5, I don't know what the percentage is in the, in the NHL, but in the NBA... The winner of a game five that's 2 2 wins 80%, 87% of the time. I think it's 60 something. Is it 60 something hockey? Yeah. Yeah, so it's. I think I saw the you're stat. Not, you're not out of it, but you're. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, so, I think it's a little different in hockey just because, well, to your point, like yeah. the home and away is like. Yeah, it doesn't. The advantage is not there. It's just not. But momentum wise. Ha- of the four sports. Game five is big. Ha- home, any sport. home court ice, whatever you call it in hockey, is the least advantage of the four sports. So weird. It's weird. It's weird because the crowd is right on top. Especially of it. because the yeah. environment seems raucous. Yeah, you would think that they would be. <clears> something. <throat> I don't know, but now right now, I I don't know. We don't have it up, but it seems quiet in MSG. It does. I can turn up a little bit if the fans don't mind. Just a little bit. It's silent. Yeah, I think they're stunned, or they're praying. At some point, right? like, a, they're not drowning and, and, No, they're, they're like, they're scared. They're like, oh, shit. Then they lose us. They're pooping yeah. us. Yeah. Anxious. They're anxious. But, I mean, dude. They're not, they're not mad at them. They're scared. They're but the, in the problem scared. is, guys, this isn't fucking game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go down 3-2. Mm-hmm. You're, you're still okay. You've proven you can win in Florida. Hockey's the one sport where it doesn't matter. Yeah. 
It doesn't matter. My God. But in there, Florida's out shooting them 31 to 23. Always. Um, <clears throat> That's actually pretty good for the yeah. Rangers. So they've yeah. been down two to one, I think, a lot. Oh shit. And then there's that whole President's Cup jinx thing that the, for the most points in the regular season thing. Ten consecutive years, the team that got that award doesn't win the Stanley Cup. So it could be that, too. They've done well to get to get here. This far, yeah. <laughs> most teams don't with that thing don't. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a curse. It's a curse. It really is. Um, so weird. I think only of the ten teams, I don't think any one of them actually got to the Stanley Cup. What do you mean of the 10 teams? Of the 10 years in a row, the teams that won this, I don't think even any one of those 10 got as far as the, at least the Stanley Cup and then lost. Mm. I think a couple of them got to the conference final. That but, like, it. all time, the number's low, too, right? Yeah. Not just the past 10 years. The past 10 years. It's, like, there's only, like, a handful straight. of teams that have ever done it, right? Oh! But the and past you, 10 years, it's, it's like... It's been just a complete goose egg. debacle. I mean, the streak is 10. <laughs> God, it's crazy the, the way that there hasn't been a ten year there hasn't been a ten year stretch like this in, in NHL history. So since they started rewarding that President's Cup. Oh shit! Don't. Jesus, that was close. Give up a goal now. It's over. It's over. Yeah. <coughs> Come, on. Come on, guys. Come Possess on. the puck. Oh man, what a save! What a, this dude is playing great. What a save! This goalie is keeping the minute. <laughs> He's keeping the minute. That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal twice. <laughs> twice. This kid is standing on his head right now. That might get the crowd up. That, I hope so. That's a game saver. Look at this fucking... Oh, just, he actually shot it right into his glove. Yeah, but he didn't flinch, though. No, he didn't. Usually when it comes in that fast, you go, ah! He's just he had, he had eyes on it. Yeah. I got that. Like, it made it look like it was easy. Like, I got that, motherfucker. Because you're right. If he had flinched... Then yeah, he would have been he, out of, he things, gotten he, out of the he, way. He could, he could see it. Yeah. He's like, I never lost that. I got that motherfucker. Bang. If you lost <coughs> sight of it, then he starts It's got to be hard to see it. I'm saying it's coming fast. Right. Don't you have a... Yeah, the guy... Do fucking, you have a visor? Do you have the yeah, cross things? It's gla It's like glasses. Like catchers? Yeah. Oh, it's like glasses. Yeah. It, well, it's... You so can, it's not like the metal... Well, it's, it's thicker. Mm -hmm. So if a puck hits it, it won't. But you know what I mean? Like a catcher's mask, sometimes guys have the cage in front of their face. Yeah. Is the goalie that or the goalie has the shield? Oh, the goalie has the cage. I was talking about the regular player with the visor. You're talking about the regular player? The regular hockey player. Oh, no. So I'm saying like... I was saying it's got to be tough to see as the goalie because of the you've mask. got the stuff. That's, you, not yeah, only is that's the true. puck fast and small, yeah. but you got that in your face too. Like, yeah, the cage. You know? Yeah, true. I, that's a good point. I never actually thought with, of that. Which I guess a catcher can deal with that too. But I think well, they have train some to. helmets. Yeah. I think they have newer helmets that have like the the shield in their face and not. Not the face mask? Yeah, not the mask. Not well, the we'll look when, we come, yeah. when they come back. we got to look at it. But whatever it is, the fucking dude. Stones. Nice He's got stones. Um, <clears throat> and they get the offense. They can, that's got to trigger at this point. Yeah. That's got to get them. They get the team it fired seemed up. Like the, it seemed like that woke the crowd up. Yeah, well, don't the crowd, but the team's going to be playing on its heels yeah, for five minutes. I know. So that's got to do something like, hey, wake up. Come on. Well, dude, remember I told you when I was watching the game the other day, they basically were saying in every game it seems like the Rangers have kind of been on their heels. But in the games they won, they just kind of. Found a way to like. <laughs> well, really, it was the goalie who just kind of kept them in it while they scored some goals. I love this. I love the Scott Van Pelt show. Yeah. Virtuoso stuff. <clears throat> Palpable tension. Oh. Oh, shit, I, got hit. I don't understand why coming into this game, that guy opened up the coverage saying, and here we're at Madison Square Garden, the most anxious arena in the country right now. I was like, why Why is it the most anxious arena? We have a home game, game five, series tied at two. Yeah, game Should, seven would be back there. Right, but I mean, like, do you think <clears throat> that's the most anxious arena in the country? Hockey fans know the ice doesn't matter where you are. So if you lose, so you think you over, think MSG was? I think they're, or no? they're they're nervous because they don't want to lose the game, but they sure. know that it doesn't. It's not a death nail if they're done. Right. Uh, so. 
Oh, they have a record? 34 mm. comeback wins? So the Rangers actually have this in them by leaps and yeah. bounds. I mean, they've been doing it in the in this series, yeah. actually. There's still, look at this, five and a half minutes to go. One goal. That's plenty of time. But they just got to get some pressure. Yeah, they right they, they got to get something. Nothing. Yeah, they got to get a, an offensive threat yeah. going on here. See, they're, playing, they're still playing on their heels a little bit. I mean, they're still pressuring them back here. Yeah. It's three passes to get out of your end. <laughs> Shit. And that's that. Mm. Florida's tough. They are tough. But both teams are good. I said both teams are good. Mm. Still just driving into yeah, the Yeah, it's a drop and chase. I, don't, I hate the dump and chase. Fucking that's what it's called when you pop it, it over yeah, and the go after and, it. If you throw it you, into the boards. <coughs> <dump and> <laughs> It'd be nice if somebody could get a penalty right now. <clears throat> Power play would help him. Come on. To Donnie, it's Donnie. Anyway, this is IDD for those of you who know. I, I couldn't introduce us for 11 minutes. Um, so, uh, I don't disagree segment two. Obviously, we're talking NHL playoffs 11 minutes in. Um, there's 442 to go. And uh, I think I just said that, but I'm saying it again. God damn it. Um, so Florida two to one, uh, getting they're out shooting the Rangers thirty four to twenty three. The goalie for the Rangers has been awesome tonight. Shosturkin, uh, yeah, he's kept a minute, he's kept a minute. Um, gotta gotta get something to Tommy's point. Offensive, looking like a threat, like a something, some kind of pressure, something. I don't know this dump and chase shit is not. Well, gonna, right now yeah. Florida's putting all the pressure on them. Yeah, they get it out quick. See that one pass is tough. <clears throat> Where is that? Come on. I don't know shit about hockey. I'll say that. Well, that's not. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh great still. play. Still, we got. Right, come on. Get over there. Get over there. Down here. Four <clears> ways to go. Okay, come still on. Still in the end. Rangers trying to get. Finally got a possession. Oh, got a, finally got a shot and it down there, but it was off the, off the side. Come on. Where uh, back going? around the wing it goes. Over across the point. He slip shot in. Got blocked. Rebound. He still got it. Okay, we still got it on the end. Cross. This is good. Swing it back. Stay, oh, 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 fudge. Stay in the fucking reversal. Oh, oh no. Turn it over. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit, he's got a breakaway. Oh, Lord, partial breakaway. This has got trouble written all over it. Good she's save. Shesterkin again. Didn't get much on the shot. No, he didn't. Good, good defense. Good. Oh, the guy was screwed. He got come back on, Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he got through. He got through. Can he get? Come on, get a shot. Come get on, a here. shot. Back on offense. Okay, okay. Get a Bang shot. Bang it. Shoot it. Oh, he missed everything. No, he hit the goalie. Did he? Popped over. Oof. Ah. Capo Caco. Get it. Get a hit. Come on. Flipped it up. Good catch. Shit. No, didn't catch it. What are you doing? Leave switched him. Out. They switched out. Oh, juice. Stick's gone. Shit. Come on. We got to get the puck back. Ooh. All right. Come on. Get down here. They don't Pressure. Seem like they have a lot Pressure. Of speed. Maybe they need a shift change right now. Uh, yeah, they just don't, the Rangers don't look fast for it right now. Jeez. Okay, let's go. Push. Usually, the one thing about the eight teams, the four teams that are left, they're usually all fast. Um, the Rangers don't look fast right now. Okay. All right, face off in there. Mm -hmm. Face off. 2.36 to go. When do they pull the goalie? Not yet. You got a minute 30? Probably with a minute to go, depending on where the puck is. Maybe a little before that. <clears throat> this guy makes a good play here. This is a good. Yeah, he didn't he give up on it. Way. Yeah, he doesn't give up on it. So I get Howland or whatever his name is. Mm. Damn. But New York doesn't look fast for some reason. I don't know if they're not. Like, most teams, like I said, when they final four, they're all fast. All. Of them. They pulled the goalie already. They pulled the goalie, Tom. Really? Yeah, because they have the face Oh, off right off the face-off. Yeah. They better not give Kept up the it puck. In. Don't give up that puck. He's got a power play now. Oh, yeah. oh, holy shit. Oh, shit. Get in there. Somebody get back. Do not give that puck up. This has got to be nerve-wracking. There's nobody in the net. Dump and chase. You got to give it back to him. Here we go. Oh. Oh, somebody get over here. Nobody there. Get over here. Oh, 
Jesus. Oh my god, this is so. Effort. Don't give up a goal, shit. you're fucked. Oh shit. Yep. Uh, that had disaster written all over it. Oh man. <clears throat> a little early for the goal pull? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I see the strategy yeah, on the face-off. I, yeah, I mean, this, and they got the puck. I just, mm. I don't know. I had a bad feeling when they did that. It was too too early. I was like, okay, let's here? see what happens. This is a good oh, move. Man, he Fuck got it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that goalie. He fell down. He flipped it over him. Oof. See, hockey players are that skill. Are you gonna slide? Fuck <laughs> you! Flip on the like it's nothing. Fuck you! <laughs> That's how good hockey players are. They fucking that made that look routine. That's not routine. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that kid's texting. God damn it! Why did I come? Dad, these tickets suck. Uh. <laughs> Rangers blow. He's <laughs> <laughs> to be a hockey fan. These choke artists. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm looking for baseball stats. I figured as we watch the end of this. Thanks for the birthday present, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been an Islanders fan. He's some asshole kid. <laughs> I guarantee you there's one in there somewhere. <laughs> there's got to be one in there somewhere. Thanks a lot, Dan. <laughs> you fucking little brat. <laughs> My kids will do that. My kids are fucking thanks, Dan. A waste of time this was. <laughs> fucking, you almost those cost. <laughs> uh, trying, to get, <clears throat> trying to get some pitching stats. For, for who? Just major leagues. Oh. I'm, I'm looking for... Um, you know who two of the three worst fielding teams in, in Major League Baseball are? Mets and Red Sox. <laughs> 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 <It's terrible>. Really? <laughs> fucking they're both in the bottom. Like one's dead last and one's like twenty seven. It's fucking. I'm hot. looking for like blown saves <laughs> and things like that. And Dude. the MLB app stinks. Errors. Errors. They're both in the top five in errors. <laughs> That's <Wow>. so bad. <laughs> when you're in the bottom five, think about this for a minute. When you're in the bottom five in, in putouts, um, uh, and then you're in the top five in errors, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, the fact that Red Sox are 500 is a miracle. Or one game below it now, thanks to the nice bum blasting the Detroit Tigers. Oh, yeah, another empty net. Let's not make it four. Let's make it four. We'll get a spread to cover. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. You don't want to make it a bum blast. It's going to be a bum blasting. It's going to turn, mm -hmm. it went from a Donnie to a bum blasting in like two minutes. How does that happen? Yeah, but even the Ran even though the Rangers were only down 2-1, to one, it felt like they were down 5-1. Yeah, the way they were playing. I mean, they couldn't get a shot anywhere near it. The Rangers had a man advantage, and the Panthers scored within a minute of them doing it. A uh -huh. score! They got a score. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's 49 seconds left. Damn it. Now that empty netter kills. <sighs> Mm. It's, it's still a game. Holy shit. This is the NHL playoffs. Right there. Oh, it's you a, think oh they're going to get minute. another goal right uh, now? Does that shit happen in hockey? Has it happened? Yes. It has happened. Oh, man. You see, I love the way deflections score yeah. in hockey. That, you gotta be it really, feels like most of the game, most yeah. of the goals are deflections. Yeah. And I always get the stick of their ball. Just yeah. standing there yeah. like this. Yep. I'll take over the team. Mm. They still have an empty net, right? Yeah, they do now. I don't think they've had it since. Oh, they called icing. <sighs> now you got to put the goalie back in. It's terrible. Oh, I get the stick on the way by. Get me a stick! And then, <laughs> and, oh, and then he's the one that threw it in there. Yeah. Sabanajet, he hadn't done anything all series, I don't think. Look at that play. Beautiful. Yep. A little push in the back. Oh, man, that, that icing call's tough. Mm -hmm. Drains fucking 
five seconds off the clock, and you had to put your goalie back in. In seven seconds. Score of 49. All right, get him out. Come on. God damn it. 20 seconds. Come on. 15 fucking seconds. Get the puck out in front of the net, you donkeys. Yep. It's over. He kept it in the corner. He never got it out. Just outworked him. They outworked him. They outworked him. Why is the ref going? I forget. Chippy. Chippy. Chippy McWhippy. Um, well, that stinks. Panthers take a 3 2 series lead. Um, so the three to two win. Um, <laughs> New York just played most of this game on their heels. I don't get it. Um, goalie stood on his head for a while. Yeah, he got an empty net. He only gave up two goals. But there was goal. It was nobody in the net. So, one the goalie's fault tonight. These guys got out hit. It hasn't got, been the goalie's fault all yeah, season. Uh, all serious. Yeah, he's kept him in it. So, the Panthers will have a chance to close this out down in Florida in two days' time. It should be Saturday night. I just love it here on the weekends. <laughs> I just do. I just love it here. I on feel the like I feel like Sat Friday and Saturday night in the sec, even when nothing's going on, it feels like you're in the middle of a hit sit hit sitcom. <laughs> because anything can happen. You have no idea what's going on in the house, but you're pretty sure it's funny. Nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. Nothing happens. <laughs> it's like Seinfeld. If you want to come, if you want to talk about you, Seinfeld, my house is a fucking, anything can happen, and by anything my, we mean absolutely. Compared to Seinfeld, my house is like Dallas. It's a fucking <laughs> drama. Fucking ridiculous. She took my dog. <laughs> Do you know how many times? <laughs> like, oh, for the love of Christ. He touched me. He's not supposed to touch me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Shut the fuck up. It's so bad. <laughs> Usually, I have to call him every Saturday. Do we have to find a way to do a show or smoke or do something? I can't kill Anton Lundell. Anton? Anton Lundell. Anton Lundell. He said Anton. Anton. <laughs> You were like, Anton. Anton. <laughs> no, I said Anton. No, you said Anton, and then and then you <laughs> looked at it again, you went, Anton? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I do that. <laughs> oh, God. But see, then he starts talking. And I don't like, want to watch this bullshit. But Scott Van Pelt's coming up. Oh, okay. okay. This is sports center. I mean, you gotta see. You know, oh, dear gotta, God, this interview is like got, fucking we watching. We gotta see the the, the 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 bum blasting in Dal in, in Minnesota tonight. Mm. Just bent over, like they're not gonna be able to sit down for a month. <laughs> they, they pounded him in the ass. He got blasted in the bum. <laughs> you fucked it. Your obsession oh, with man. ass pounding. They got, Minnesota got sent to a federal pound in the ass prison tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It started with Luca. The ass kicking began with Luca's left first. First was his left right there, fucking ass. He twenty points in the first quarter, just fucking shoving it right in their ass. <laughs> and the second one, they sit Luca down, and the bench is like, <laughs> "Where did they take oh us back God. so far?" Oh, get the fuck out. It was such an ass kicking. It's like it was. At one point, this man to my to my right said, and I quote, "You had to score two points to get to 30. <laughs> I said, "I said you're talking shit and you're down thirty. <laughs> you, you had to score a bucket to be down 30. <laughs> <laughs> you the level of bum blasting we're, we're talking about here. Like, this is this is like in the beginning of Gladiator when he, when he tells when he tells whatever his name is Quintus or whatever his name is like Quintus 
Would you know if you were defeated? Would I? Because they're trying to get him to Florence and they play mow him down. <laughs> and they, they, they throw the head of the messenger on the field. Oh, Jesus. And they're like, even in de- the guy goes, even in certain defeat, he goes, he goes, would you think you were defeated? Or would I? <laughs> Almost giving them credit for the ass kicking they're about to make. <laughs> it's a noble ass kicking, I suppose. Oh, it's a noble butt whipping. <laughs> it's a fucking... What? Where, where the... I mean, seriously. <laughs> Hmm. The Minnesota Timberwolves fans should get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear what Carlos Mendoza? Who? Um, Carlos Mendoza, um, of affectionately called Stiflos Mendoza. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, skipper of the New York Mets. <laughs> you forgot about Stiflos. Remember when we went on that stiff rampage yes. and everybody was a stiff? Oh my god. <clears throat> We we had, we and we had some creative ones. Yeah. Didn't we? It was Tifalophagus. <laughs> no, well, we always just stiff. No, no, that that wasn't what it was. We would just put stiff in the middle of people's names. Yeah, like Stiffalons. Stiffalons. <laughs> Peter Stiff. So oh, fucking stiff. Oh my god, he was on a stiff rant. Fran like, Stifflos Randor. <laughs> A rant like you know, oh everything was a fucking but anyway so <laughs> after the whole Mets meltdown yesterday where mm. the bullpen blew another game yeah um Jorge Lopez I'm pretty sure that's his name right yeah Jorge Lopez was designated for assignment because after he gave up a two run bomb to Otani to blow the game um he argued a call, a strike call. You know, the third base umpire said, guy didn't swing, and he yelled at him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, he, and he got tossed. And yeah. then as he was walking off the field, throws his glove over the, like, the safety netting that now, you know, protects the stands. Why are we watching this? I'm turning it. I'm talking about Why is it? I don't know. I'll tell you. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> I, think I, tur- I think I rewound it. You fucking rewound it. You fucking... <laughs> is there anything else good on? No, just we were trying to watch Scott Van Pelt, but you fucked that all up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. I think I, tr- I was trying to rewind to show you something. What? Watch that. Yeah. I was trying to w- rewind to show you something, and... Oh, God, not another hockey interview. Dear God. <laughs> we turned it on. <laughs> I just tried to get away from this. Dude, now it's in my face. Next time somebody says, hockey doesn't market their players. Uh, did, you, did you watch that interview? Dear God. Dude. Boring as fuck. Rudy Gobert, just go away. Just leave Oh, me. sorry. I was, we were talking about Stiflos. Oh, yeah, Stiflos Mendoza. Sorry. We're talking about Stiflos Gobert. So... So afterwards, they cut the guy. They DFA'd him. So they designated him for assignment, which means they're sending him back to the minors. Yep. Or they can trade him in the next seven days, or he can, like, I think they could part ways potentially. Hmm. But to the media, Stiflo said, we have have standards here, Mets manager Stiflo Mendoza said. Before Thursday's series opener against Arizona. We're in last place, but we have standards. When you're not playing well, guys will show emotions. There's frustrations, but there's a fine line, and yesterday went over that line. Well. <clears throat> but yeah, so after the guy threw his, threw his glove, he was interviewed after the game, and Lopez said, I don't regret it. <laughs> I think I've been looking like the worst fucking teammate in probably the whole fucking MLB. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I've got bugs jumping on my glasses. <clears throat> I'm kind of, I wonder if this is true. So, listen to this. Who are you texting? Ian. Listen to this. About the finals. So, <clears throat> yesterday he was quoted after the game saying that this is the worst fucking team in the MLB. Yeah, that's what okay? you That's what I told you he yeah, said. That's what I they like, quoted. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I didn't believe it. But then, so then he but, says, he said <clears throat> today, um, 
I want to clarify my post-game remarks because I had no intention of disparaging the New York Mets organization. Mm. During that interview, I spoke candidly about my frustrations with my personal performance and how I felt it made me the worst teammate in the entire league. And he said, unfortunately, my efforts to address the media in English created some confusion and generated headlines that did not reflect what I was trying to express. Oh, man. And he said, I wish the team the best and hope that God continues to give me strength and guidance in my personal and professional life. Do you think he's kind of getting fucked there? Because that um, cause that initial story makes it sound really bad, what he said. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, and then you hear this and it's like, ah, he sounds pretty remorseful. And he was pissed at himself. I don't know. Either way, maybe you DFA the guy. I, I, if a guy is criticizing himself. He was angry. At himself. And it boiled over. I don't think you penalize him for that. That tells me he cares. But the throwing of the glove. Look, do you want to fine him for that? Like a $10,000 fine, a slap on the wrist fine. I get that. But don't make a bigger deal out of that than one of these. Guy yeah. gives a shit. He's, he's frustrated like he's everybody else is. By, by the way, he resembles a few fans I know right now. And justifiably so. All right, but but then so, we also have to go back to the comments. Shows he cares. But it also has to go back to what we talked about earlier. Because he, earlier we were saying that if the culture was right, this never would have happened. So how look, can you say that? Uh, listen, a guy openly saying it's me, you don't hear it very often. I'm talking about the glove throw. I'm saying you want... Because that is a sign of he was no mad. respect. He's mad. He embarrassed the whole organization. He knows that. And he said but he doesn't word. have the equity of time or history he for, said they, for, right for after them he to did give it. him a... I'm just yeah. saying you want to fine him for it, fine. <clears throat> it shouldn't be a death yeah. sentence. Given what he, how he... Like, right, but then how come earlier you and I were talking and we were saying you, you agreed that if they had strong leadership, something like that wouldn't have happened? I think... It gets to that point where well, I'll tell you why I'll tell you why strong leadership prevents that because they're already venting like nobody had reacted publicly like he just did the other night about what, how bad this team is. right he's the first one right think about that the core should have been the ones that you saw fucking blowing their stack going this ain't acceptable we it's not them it's him they're supposed right. to be setting the standard but that's, but that's what I'm not I'm saying that's not his fault that's their fault. He's just showing he cares, and he's young and doesn't know how to handle it. Yeah. But he's but he's but he's saying it's me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's saying it's me. He's not blaming someone. If he's blaming someone else, oh my god, no. But he's he's saying it's me. But to me, I feel like and throwing yeah. your glove in the stands is kind of like saying like, I didn't say I'm it was an, I this. didn't say it was a mature way to handle it. I'm saying it just shows he cares, and he's blaming himself. He didn't say he mentioned no one else. <laughs> he was like it was me. It's all about me. Saying I'm the worst teammate on this thing because he, he's he's not he's not accepting it, he's mad at himself. So I no I, I want give me ten guys like that every fucking day, because at least they'll hold themselves accountable. Be part, the worst guys are the ones that walk in like they don't mm-hmm. care. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not me, it's them. Uh, or they say I'm in this situation. They put me here. What do you, how would you expect me to do? Okay, they there are guys on that roster from at least name. They've got some name guys that should this should not be happening, if they are who they're supposed to be. Which to his point. They're not. They're just not. So, yeah. if they, if he threw a fit and was blaming everybody around him, yeah, yeah, crucify him for that. He's blaming himself. Well, at least he fucking holds himself. Unless he really did what, say the thing what, about the team, and now he's hiding behind translation. Well, there's also that. Because you never know. Well, you just sounded very like in your tone of voice, like you were inclined to believe him. But now you're saying, of course. No, I'm just saying there's two, there could be two situations. The, there's the chance. <laughs> there is the chance of that. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Because, because that you, happens all the time. The that way, somebody, somebody says something they really mean I'm just saying, in a moment, the way you, but they come back and say, that's not what I said. I'm just saying the way you delivered the first part of this, it made it like you were inclined to believe it. But then you totally flipped it and went, but. <laughs> and again, this I applaud him for this is pretty good. He goes, but <laughs> <laughs> there's always the off chance. Just you think that this is I'm putting the the, the, the time is no guarantee on this. <laughs> I don't no, no, think no, so. No. <laughs> that does not mean. <laughs> and he's he's not wrong. I, you can see both sides. You can. So I don't know. What the hell? What are we talking about? We're talking about the Mets. <laughs> the Mets. 
We're talking about the Mets where, because off air we were saying that what that guy did with the glove can't happen. Now you're saying it's a good thing that he did it. I don't. I just said it was. It was not a mature. A confusing. No, I me. said it was not a mature way to handle it. But at least, it, at least he cares. He doesn't know how to act out. He should not be doing that. Is what I'm saying. But I understand that well, he yeah, doesn't. I understand he's frustrated. But if he if these like guys were good kid. role models, he would know that's not how you handle right. it. And the, but but they, to your point, they're not. Right. And that's, <laughs> so and that's like, the thing. It's kind of like it's more. It's so more, so after this game, Francisco Lindor called a players only meeting that was 30 minutes long. Haven't they done this already? I don't know. I thought you said something earlier. They call you, they've already called the players only meeting. <laughs> <laughs> they probably did it last year. Hey, no, no, it was, it was earlier this year. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. They no. started out being like, dude, they've already called the players only No, no. <laughs> yes, they, yes, they did. That hasn't happened yet. It takes them. We were here talking about how well, if they do this over oh, the Oh, maybe script, it was the 0 5. I'm saying. Remember, they, they opened 0 5. They already called the players. You were the one, but they've already called the players only. <laughs> I'm like, Tom, 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 mm-hmm. relax. Just, no, I'm not going to relax. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck did the call? It's really five games. <laughs> I don't remember this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, dude, this is on the tape. Mm-hmm. This I know is on the tape. But <laughs> you know, it's funny because I was thinking about back and we to were early talking. in the season, and I was saying, you know what I like about the Knicks and the Mets? They fight. When the Mets we're, started we're, to turn the corner right. a little They bit. started to turn it around. They did. And they were fighting, yeah. you know. Then, they look like that guy. Fuck, but we're up. We're up now. Yeah. We're gonna now. Then happen? their catcher went down. Yeah, but he wasn't playing that great. But I think he he does. wasn't the catalyst. He no, certainly wasn't the catalyst for it. No, but I mean, he is. There's something about that kid. The energy he bring he comes to the team with, that he brings to the ballpark every day. I sound like some cliche bastard talking about a player, but seriously, he cliches is. are cliches for a reason. But so. seriously, he is one of those guys Just that I think makes a difference with his presence. And when he's hurt, it changes the dynamic. There are guys, listen, that's not, listen, <clears throat> I'll, I can prove to you right now that he's, that's true. It is. Think about the impact, okay, of Draymond Green with the Warriors mm-hmm. when he's on the court yeah. versus when he's off it. Different identity. You watch him play, there's nothing really that stands out about him at all. But his presence mm-hmm. is big. makes them better. Because yeah. like he's like they look back and they see that he's there, mm-hmm. and it just it gives them a, sh- a jolt of confidence. That's very true. Okay, so he's so, not off his rocker when he says that. So that, I may be stoned to the bejesus, but even I know that. Right. So that happened. They lost a, a pretty big gl- glue piece, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he went down. Then... Um, What's what's happened again? Same thing happened last year. Their bullpen actually oh, the bullpen. saved them for the first month and a half of the season. Mm-hmm. They had one of the best bullpens in the league yeah. for over a month and a half. Mm-hmm. But the problem is their starting pitching wasn't giving them anything. So the bullpen got was really good and got taxed really yeah. quick. This happened last year yeah. when they looked good. Now last year was a little different because they had the swoon in June. Yeah, true. and they went like three and sixteen. Yeah. This year it hit him quicker, it and it was swift. <laughs> yeah. Like all of a sudden, Edwin like, Diaz, bang, bang, like, bang. The Mets are on the ground, and you're kicking them to see if they're right. still breathing. Hey, yeah. you awake? No, they're out. Yeah, it was like all of a sudden. Okay, Edwin <laughs> Diaz true. goes down. Boom, done. boom, he blows they four went. saves. Now he's got a shoulder injury. The guy who was pitching great in the eighth inning, uh, Reed Garrett. Minute Edwin Diaz goes down, he can't pitch. I, they did win tonight. They did. But they're eight games under. How? Uh, the real question is, how far out of the wild card are they? Six games. That's nothing. <laughs> With 106 that's, left. Yeah, that's my point. That's nothing. They're not out of this at all. I, <laughs> they're not. But how many really fucking not. times am I going to go, oh, the Mets salvaged the I'm series. not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not right. They could be totally done. I'm just saying, mathematically... It's more than conceivable. They could. That's not an insurmountable. But see, right. here's okay. So here's the thing. That's all I'm saying. Here's the thing. You don't have to think about mathematically. The important thing to think of is where will they be at the trade deadline? Because if they're ten to fifteen games below five hundred, look, hold on. Look, this is Lucas shitting on them. Look at this. Look at this. Just no one on him. Drop. Doesn't even put his hand up. He's talking shit to everybody. <laughs> He's just talking shit. He's pulling a bird. Look, look where he's fucking standing oh, on that one. Logo status. <laughs> and he didn't break form at all. No. He's, look at this. That Watch. was the most casual this fucking 28-footer I've ever seen. Fucking 
donkey backs up. What is the logo? 28 feet? 32? I forget. Look at that. The fucking first quarter. He had 20, The men, and the Timberwolves had 19. Wow. Yeah. Fucking and what was the score? They were up by 10. Or nine. Now they're up 20. Look at the fucking, second. look at this. The guy hits him on the head. Oh, wow. Same injury. Same head. That's I think fucked up. Nasri, that was kind of dirty. That's fucked Watch. up. Watch. Watch it. Boom. Ooh. I don't know that he needed to do that. You think he was trying? Oh, man. And he went out? Uh-huh. He comes back. Oh, he's back. He comes back eventually. Look at this. Luke again. <laughs> no hand down, man down. How the fuck is your hand down that guy after what you just did in the first quarter? Well, Lively's going to be able to use this week off. Fucking stupid. Kyrie. Lively needs that week off. Just shitting on. Taking a dump on their head. Cat. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Doesn't oh, God, they don't get that it off. That idiot never shoots. That kid sucked, too. I forget his name, but he well, sucked. Well, Cat should have shot that. I, but the other kid could have shot it twice. Because his shot they, is both, so, they said, no, you take no, it. Yeah, his shot is so herky-jerky. Watch, you could take the final shot. Oh, you're shit. talking about Kyle. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, God, will you stop? That sounds so... That Luke, like, that's what Luca just did. I know. But when you go rapid fire, it's too much. It's Luca's just wiping his ass with their this face. This is when he's yelling at Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Or was he yelling at somebody behind oh, Snoop? I don't know. Snoop's like, I didn't say nothing, man. Why are you picking on me? <laughs> Snoop's like, I'm just here to have a good time, man. Look at the Kyrie just Lakers, fucking... Man. A wet one, too. Dude, but here's the thing the Mets have to worry about. It's really not 107 games left. They have however many games left to get to the All-Star... Or the uh, trade deadline. Okay. Which is end of July. Okay. Because if they're six games out of a wild card at yeah. the end of July, yeah. I think they start selling. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he banked it oh, in. That was... <laughs> fucking what? Oh, don't talk shit then. He... Oh, he did the... Wow. What Dude, a, I, I, told you about, I told you about Caitlin Clark hitting the... In the Jordan, in the Jordan, I don't know. Yeah. After going two for nine from three, I told you that, right? You did. This, this guy cries like you read about. Yeah. Him and Kyrie both had thirty-six. Today. Yeah, they did. But Kyrie could have got that award. This Let's listen to him. Donkey. This guy's a donkey. The series. Timberwolves um, head coach. So great. Congrats to, to them. Busted knee from last series. And, um, Kicking our ass. By two bending us over. Remember he got a, taken out. He had surgery player. on his knee. And to answer your question, um, you know, Luca came out tonight, put his stamp on the game, um, you know, hit a couple bomb threes that kind of got uh, got them really loosened up. Um, and then, you know, offensively, we were, we were kind of never really settled in. Their physicality bothered us. Um, and so the game kind of slipped away from us in the first quarter when we missed a lot of easy stuff, you know, went one-on-one too early, just kind of got busted out of any kind of offensive structure, um, you know, and then we couldn't, couldn't get stopped. So that was the game. Seems like people believe that a younger player's younger team have to go through these to, before you can get. Do you believe that was the case where guys just not quite as ready for the moment as? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's some of that. You know, but uh, we had chances early on in this series to to, to make it um, you know more of an even series. Uh, you know, there was probably going to be one of these games in this series, one direction or another. And you know, tonight for us, it was uh, it went against us in a big way. So. Chris, where do you think the the biggest moment of growth or the thing that you'll take away from this team that you'll feel best about? Reflecting on the this guy from? season run up to this, did moment. he play? Yeah, I think I uh, that's a great question. I think um, you know, as every series goes along, like there's. It, it's I never knew who their coach was level, until he got level, taken level, out in that level, last series. Yeah, no, I never. Level, level, I never. I don't. I never even saw him. He looks like he could be a janitor. He looks like he could be a janitor in fucking middle school. What about him? Looks like a janitor. It's just his hair and his glasses. He's like he woke up like from a nap in the the broom closet. This as, as kind of a, yeah, it's so, kind of good. Everyone in the first quarter. For yourselves. Yeah, I'm interested I mean, to hear what for that, Cat you know, and uh, certainly want to look at the season long performance. Uh, it sounds like he's coming uh, down well, from his high. Um, as anything <laughs> yeah. to certainly, yeah, certainly. Take from what we learned yeah. here and the lessons that we had, uh, were taught. But, um, you know, try to figure out some bum blasting we, we, we ensued. Might, uh, you know, kind of be red flags moving forward. 
but yeah, it's you got to start back at square one when the season starts. You can't skip any steps. You know, the West is going to be a monster next year as it continues to be every year. So, but you know, there was a lot of things we did well this year. Super proud of our guys um, in just building another layer of foundation to get where we're trying to go. Tim Legler legs. is with us. Let's couch the Minnesota Dude, I think I'm conversation gonna go home for the after moment. Legs. I think okay. Coach Finch makes some good we points should. there. It's they beat Phoenix. It's 11, they beat it's 11 15. It's, it's not too late. I mean, there's some accomplishments um, here, but they got one. Anyway, if we don't stop game, soon, let's talk about we're stopping game. now. If we don't stop soon, we're stopping right now. now. We will go this until fucking 1 a.m. We're done. We're done. Let's start. Hold on. I want to see Tim. No, we're going off the air. You guys, we'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Turn Tim up then. We're going to watch this without you because we'll never get off if we don't. But that's the Redoubt on the High Question. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the Stanley Cup playoffs. We have an NBA Finals. Dallas, Boston, we will give you a preview next mm. Monday night. What so, a shitty baseball talk tonight. Really bad. The team's shitty. Really bad. A shitty team. No, but you should be able to talk about the majors. Ooh. I'm gonna I'll, I'll do some research for next year. We'll have some good baseball I'm, talk. I've good baseball banter. Very impressed by what the Yankees have done. And I know we'll give you, you some, to talk about Yankees, you typically think hitting. We'll give you some pitching. Has been unbelievable. Use some good old fashioned they, baseball. At some bat. point this week, they had 15 straight starts from a starting pitcher go five innings and give up two runs or less. He's just, he just ain't whistling Dixie. Uh, we'll explore that more on Monday night. So you guys enjoy the weekend. The redoubtable and the highly questionable one. You know the drill boys and girls. <laughs> you don't even know what you're smelling anymore. <laughs> you're like.